Okay, part two of the interior tour, just a couple things I didn't cover in the first interior video. You have three cabinets right here. This lower cabinet is your trash, so you can have a little uh, trash compactor there, and then you've got other kitchen tools and stuff right here, some bags and uh, lots of storage if you need it. You have two beds. The two beds come with sheets. The sheets are in the bathroom uh, when you when you open the bathroom doors i'll show you in a second they should be in there there's pillows sheets blankets everything pretty much that you would need uh they're pretty comfortable one side's slightly longer than the other um they do have these bolsters right here that you can either use as a pillow or if you want to put them up and use them like this they make nice backrests as well back here you have more charging some portable lights there's plenty of plugs in this uh, van and you'll find pretty much everything you need. Um, you also have some reading lights right here uh, and very nice. So now I'd like to go back to the bathroom and we'll talk about how that works. We do have a little rug here that is in the unit. We'll get that out of there. So there is a privacy door right here that you can open and close like so. Uh, here you have cabinets. There's storage in here, and this is where we're going to keep a lot of the supplies, blankets, things like that. This is a solid floor with a drain. Uh, that's nice. So the, the shower and the sink all drain to the gray tank. The toilet right here drains to the black tank. So you have a little medicine cabinet here. There's a light a fan that you can use, uh, an exhaust fan here, which is kind of nice. This is a little weird, um, so you have to push up on it like this, and the on-off button is right here. This is really nice if you're taking a shower, it kind of gets all the steam and everything out, and you can move this on as well. Um, just press the power button there, and everything closes. You have a couple of lights back here. I mentioned the privacy curtain, so you can keep this closed as well very easy to use uh, back here you have a hook another light right here and this is your sink and shower so these are not designed to be sort of super luxurious showers but they do they do the job so this sink here just flops down like this a little bit of left over antifreeze in there but we'll get that cleaned up and then uh, if you if you want to wash your hands in the sink, wash your teeth, you would do it there. Uh, this is just a standard uh, uh, appliance there, and, and your shower is up and back right here. So it works uh, works pretty good. Uh, your toilet has, um, and I've got the plastic on this right now, but you can see where there's a little bit of liquid in the toilet. And that's what you always want to have because you want that seal to always stay a little bit moist. There is a flush valve on here and let me show you where that is real quick. It's right over here and this is the flush valve you'll use to, if you press it down a little bit, it puts water uh, into the toilet. I don't have it pressurized right now. If you press and hold that down all the way with your foot, it will flush the toilet. So when you first use this toilet, it's going to come clean. You're going to put, uh, you're going to fill the tank of the toilet up with probably uh, at least a gallon or two of water. You're going to want to let it run for a couple minutes to get liquid in the holding tank. You don't want to be using the toilet with uh, uh, without water in that holding tank or things get really tough to clean out. So put a few gallons, a couple gallons of water in there, let it run for a couple minutes, and then drop in one of the uh, sanitizers just to the uh, press down all the way on, on the foot pedal here, and then um, put one of, those, one of those in and you're, you're good to go. Your tank readings are on the Firefly. It'll tell you when you're getting full uh, and when you need to think about dumping. Um, so this is um, not a huge holding tank here, um, but it, it gets the job done for, for when you're out and about. We do supply toilet paper and we ask that you only use the toilet paper that we supply. If for some reason you need to more get more toilet paper, make sure you're getting toilet paper that's specific for RV use. I know we use the Scott 
toilet paper and it says right on there it's safe for RVs and and you're fine with using that. Um, to be careful not to put too much toilet paper in these. This is not your home toilet. They're very easy to clog. So best advice if you're using this for, uh, for in the morning or, or whenever you're using it is to uh, flush the debris first and then come back a second time for your, uh, your tissue and that kind of stuff. So that's pretty much uh, a tour of everything back here in the bathroom. Uh, there's uh, plenty of other uh, information on the unit that you'll find on board when you're when you're here. So I uh, hope you guys have a great time uh, with our unit, and this concludes our little demo.